Okay, part two, the um, changing of the steering servo over to the um, high-tech waterproof servo. I do like these. Okay, so first thing that I'm going to want to do is I'm going to want to get it centred up. The steering one is, it's that one there. Let's just check everything's moving okay. Perfect. Great. Now It isn't as difficult as people might think to um, take the thing apart and I know that some people will have built or will have bought the um, ready-made version of this car. Just quickly Let's see if I can show you how to get there. How to get the um, front part taken taken off the minimum number of things? I have done this once already, so I should better remember. One thing quite handy is that the same screws these um, these um, ten mil three millimeter sc screws seem to be just about everywhere on the model, so it's not usually too hard. To put it back together again afterwards. If you're um, taking either either end of the chassis off, what I, what I have found is that it pays to take this drive shaft out, whichever end that you're taking off first. Just get the wheels off. I've learnt the hard way to store all, all of the bits in a container while I'm while I'm taking taking it apart. Because it's very easy for things to fall on the floor and then fall underneath the sofa or whatever, and to be then spending time looking for things and wondering if they've been hoovered up by somebody. Sort of comes out quite easily. You do have to watch with, with the drive shaft that you don't accidentally lose the ball race bearings off the end if you if you if you if you upgrade it to ball race. Get this out. That's it. And it's made it a little bit easier. first and there you go I've taken this off as well taken the shop off as well ah the bearing has fallen off make sure 
there so that I don't lose it for later. And I'll just put this end back together again mainly so that I don't lose any parts. That's it. Okay, now for the rest of the disassembly. I know that I know that I'm going to be taking this servo out, so I'm just going to remove the tie wraps. That's it. And let's just get the front end apart. You'll see here that I've put a GoPro mount on so that I can film inside the car. Using the Hero Session. I think that's all I need to do to put it apart. Let's just see. that I'll need to do is to unplug the motor and let his wires out. Okay. So, so the um, rear end is off. This um, speed controller is coming out anyway, so I might as well take it out at this point. That's it. And I won't be needing it switch either. There you go. Okay. Quite, quite um, usefully, you've got a sticky pad on one side and foam on the other which allows you to um, split the body shell when the time comes like this. I'll be I'll be I'm um, cleaning this uh, I'll be I'm um, cleaning this down with um, alcohol a little bit later. Okay so it's all feeling pretty solid still. The first two, the first screws to undo, will be the ones holding holding the holding the bumper on. Just use a slightly smaller screwdriver for this. And then um, you've got three main screws holding the two halves together. One, two, three.
two have come out. Three have come out, that's fine. Again, it's the 10 mil by three mil and the body should start coming apart. Yeah. Now, if I do this right, the only other thing that I'm going to need to do is to release the steering ball joints. I keep it that way up the gearbox will stay in place and you can see that there's rather a lot of that red grease that I spoke about pop that there okay the servo Let's see how to get the servo out I need to undo these. Slightly longer. These two bolts and See that the servo comes out, not forgetting this um, spacer here. Okay, right. <clears throat> now, now I'm going to think about the um, servo saver. On these adapters, they are labelled A, H, and F. The one which is going to go with the high tech servo, I'm imagining that it's the, the um, centre one, but I'm about to find out. Let's just test. careful not to to lose this little washer here because that will help keep these the, the um, screen plates afterwards say that it's most definitely the one labelled F. And that doesn't really want to come off. So no I was wrong. So <clears throat> so um, the 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 adapter labelled F seems to be the one that goes with, with um, high tech and that certainly fits very well. <clears throat> now in order to get things as close as to the same as possible I'm just holding these two against each other and you'll see that the um, that the um, servo saver which it comes with is ever so slightly longer than than um, this um, Kimbra one but the Kimbra one seems to be the largest one that I was able to to source and I think that what I'm going to do is I'm going to 
put the holes at this end here as far as I think that I can get away with and then just trim it down to shape. Right, so being careful not to lose parts. going to keep these bits all together so that I don't lose things or and confuse them with anything else. Right, so take off the steering arms. So that's how it's going to be. That looks right. I think that I'm probably going to want to use a slightly longer screw. I'll have to have a look for one of those. And I'm going to want to do is I'm going to want to use um, this as a template to um, draw the holes. Now the, the holes that I'm going to want to drill are going to be two and a half millimeter and then I'm going to tap threads. I may or may not need bolts on the other side. <clears throat> so I'm going to I'm going to want to go as far as I can that's not bad I'm probably only losing a millimeter or so and I'm going flush with the end of that okay. straighten it up first hole is there and I start off with a two millimeter bit and then I'm going up to a two and a half millimeter bit Tap it out. Just going to make life easier for myself, really. And um, using, I might as well use this one here. Just going to screw in so that it doesn't move around. That'll do. Perfect. And then and then having straightened up the holes so that they're pretty well lined up. 
that there. I'll just quickly drill through it. That's it. Right, having had a quick hunt around, um, there seem to be some spare parts on the um, sprue tree which I've got and looking looking at the amount of depth this part here seems to be pretty good which is if it's got a part number on it number 13 on sprue stream sprue number f so i'm going to give that a go let's see if that makes it a little bit better And that's the um, slightly thinner one. I'm not sure what this part is for, but I'm pretty sure that it's spare. Right, but I'm hoping that this will be okay. I'm also hoping that, well, maybe I should I should try and trim these edges off a little bit. Let's see how easily they go. Seems to be pretty tough. Just nibble them off a, a bit at a time. That's one. that that should be pretty good and then and then this back part here which I don't want you should probably wear glasses when you're doing this seems seems all good to go let's just see how much thread we have change glasses let's see how much thread we have on here because it'll be quite nice to use the screw which it came with That all seems pretty good to me. Now just a case of swapping swapping the mounting over. Not forgetting this space part here. While I'm at it, I'll just clean out some of the accumulated dirt. Ok, 
كده لما يبقى بشكل كده Again, being very careful not to over tighten these. Seems about right. It's not going anywhere. Link the steering back up. Let's just give it a quick test. Seems pretty good. Nothing seems to be fouling on anything. I'd say. So I'm pretty pleased with that. Obviously, putting putting the thing back together again is going to be the reverse of taking it apart. And in the in the next video, I'll I'll, I'll just be swapping over the electronics, which shouldn't take terribly long.